Hello, my name is Mr. Duxon and I'll be your instructor for this Algebra 1 presentation titled The Properties of Numbers. The purpose of this presentation is to deepen your understanding of the real number system by presenting, without all of the mathematical mumbo jumbo, properties and laws of numbers that will equip you with the basic tools necessary to understand important algebraic concepts. As you know, the basic operations of numbers are addition, multiplication, subtraction, and division, which are called binary operations, because they're defined in terms of combining numbers two at a time. Of course, the prefix bi means two. And you're undoubtedly familiar with the symbols used to represent these operations, the symbols for plus, times, minus, and divide by. So we'll begin by looking at the properties or laws that apply to the set of non-negative integers, which, as you may recall if you watched the presentation on number sets and subsets, are represented by this symbol, the capital letter Z with an asterisk. Non-negative integers are the numbers invented out of a need for counting, and the discussions of the basic operations on non-negative integers will, in turn, show the need for expanding this group of numbers to the set of real numbers. The first concept we're going to explore with respect to the behavior of numbers is that of closure. In plain English, a particular set of numbers is said to be closed under a given operation if, whenever you compute two numbers from the set according to that operation, the result will also be a number from that same set. So non-negative integers are said to be closed under addition because whenever you add two non-negative integers, you always get another non-negative